Yeah, um, a question, and I'm not going to give any Bible quotes because you probably know the Bible better than me. And any Bible quotes I give, um, you'll find an apt response. But as a Christian, as a Christian for four years, I feel that I couldn't leave without saying something to the Muslim brothers and sisters here. I've listened to the speaker, and um, a lot of what he said makes sense. Um, about how to serve God. A lot of it is in Christianity and in Judaism. But there's one thing I can't understand. You've talked about Jesus, but you haven't actually pinpointed the, 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 the reason why he, um, well, we as Christians, we believe he was sent from God. And you haven't actually explained um, the reason behind Christianity and from what I've heard, the Muslim sisters and brothers can have a very um, biased, can I say, a biased view about Christianity. We believe that Jesus was indeed the Son of God and he was sent to take our sins away, to purge the sins of the world. And without him, we cannot see God if we do not confess that he is the son of God and that we are sinners and that we actually do need him in our lives even just to see God. Can I just, yeah, thanks a lot for the question. Thank can you I, very much, sister. Can I just make a, a short comment before the speaker that if you want to, um, rather than rather than just probably just coming to the question and answer session. If you want to, you can, you're free to interact with um, Muslim sisters or, or, or if you've got any other burning questions, you'd like to explore the matter a bit more. Then as I mentioned before, um, you can, after the talk, we'd be willing to discuss. Thanks. This was asked a good question. She says that I haven't spoken much about Christianity with Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, preached. And she said that she believes that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, came to purge away the sins and to remove the sin. That was her basic two questions. And she believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Sister, regarding Jesus Christ being the Son of God, I've already told earlier that we very believe Son of God, if it means a righteous person, we very well believe that you are the righteous person, as it's mentioned in the book of Romans, that as many are led by the Spirit of God, they are sons of God, and most verily Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was led by the Spirit of God. And he is the son of God in that context, but not the begotten son of God. Coming to your question, why didn't I speak much about the Christianity which Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, preached? Sister, the word Christianity doesn't exist anywhere in the Bible. I am a student of the Bible. The word Christianity doesn't exist anywhere in the Bible. And Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, did not preach Christianity. That's what I said, that many people have, I started my talk by saying, many people have a misconception that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was the founder of Christianity and he preached Christianity. Neither was he, neither was he the founder of Christianity, neither did he preach Christianity. That's what I said, because the word Christianity doesn't exist in the Bible. The only word that exists in the Bible, in the book of Acts, is that the disciples of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, they were given a nickname by the people of Antioch as Christians. But the word Christianity doesn't exist anywhere in the Bible. It was a nickname given by the people of Antioch to the disciples of Jesus Christ, peace be upon later on. Christians. Therefore, I said, if Christian means one who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, then we Muslims are more Christian than the Christian themselves. And the full talk, sister, I gave, I gave the talk trying to prove that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, all these things, you should believe in one God, we believe in one God, that you should be modest. We are modest, you should not have alcohol, you should not have pork, that you should not have dead meat, you should not have blood. And all these things what I mentioned is talking about what Jesus Christ preached. He didn't preach Christianity, he preached submission to the will of Almighty God, which in Arabic we call as Islam. If you want to know in English, it is in English he preached a religion which says you should submit your will to Almighty God. As Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, it's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 30. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just. For I seek not my will, but the will of my Father. Anyone who says, not my will, but the will of God, he is a Muslim. You said Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, came out to purge out your sins. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, I can of my own self do nothing. 
So how can you take out your sins? Yeah, I would... can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just. <laughs> for I seek not my will, but the will of my father. What he came, he came to guide the people that how not to sin and how to ask for forgiveness. That's what he preached. And regarding bearing the sin of others, this concept of original sin, which is preached by the church, though it's not present in the Bible, that all human beings are born in sin. It's based on the concept that Eve, may Allah be pleased with her, she tempted Adam, may Allah be pleased with him, to eat the forbidden fruit. That's the reason all human beings are born in sin. The question I ask, that did Adam, peace be upon him, ask me before eating the fruit? So why should I be born in sin? If I would have given permission to Adam, peace be upon him, eat the fruit, then if Allah holds me responsible, it sounds logical. Did Eve ask you before eating the fruit, may Allah be pleased with her? If she asked you and you gave permission, then fine, you can say that you made a mistake. Surely she didn't ask the sisters, neither did she ask the brothers. Neither did Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, ask us. So how can we be responsible? And this concept that because of that, human being are born in sin and Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, came to remove the sin. And that you know that the only begotten son is kept as a slaughter. It doesn't sound logical at all. It doesn't sound logical at all. Imagine there is an employer who employs all his employees and they commit mistake, they rob, etc. So the employer tells the employee that now because you have robbed, because you cheat, because you don't do the job properly, I'm going to slaughter my son. And if you believe that I'm slaughtering him, then your sins are forgiven. It sounds illogical. No more any questions. And regarding inheritance of sins, what does the Bible say? Bible says in the book of Ezekiel, chapter number 18, verse number 20, The soul that sins shall die. The father shall not bear the iniquity of the son, neither shall the son bear the iniquity of the father. The wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him, the righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him. But if the wicked turn and returns to the part, he shall not die. The Bible says, the soul that sin shall die, the father shall not bear the iniquity of the son. Means the father shall not bear the sins of the sons, neither shall the son bear the sin of the father. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him, the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. But if the wicked turns and repents, he shall not die. So if, sister, we do agree that human beings do make mistakes, we do commit sin, for that we have to repent. How to repent? By following the commandment of Almighty God. That's what Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said that you ask for forgiveness from Almighty God, will forgive you. That's what the Quran says. That you have to repent, you have to do Tawbah. And if you repent in the right way, then inshallah Almighty God will forgive you. Nowhere did Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says that you believe me, that I am God, you believe that I died for your sin. This is a theory of St. Paul, which is mentioned in Corinthians, of St. Paul. And that also, if you analyze that, if you see my video cassette, was Christ crucified? We can prove even from the Bible that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was not crucified. So even if you agree with St. Paul's theory that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, came to take away the sins, that theory itself has got no basis because Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, even according to the Bible, he was not crucified. For more details, you can refer to my video cassette, a debate with high, which I had with an Arab pastor. Arab pastor was Christ crucified.